What the heck? Why is there so many cows over there? What the heck? And there's like a bunch of sheep over here. Wait. What the hell? Well, my mind is like completely blown right now. What the heck? Look at that. I'm gonna try to get one, guys. I'm gonna try to get one. Ah. I got that. The lag. I got him. I got him. And then there's a bunch of sheep over here. Oh my god, why is there so many animals here? Ah! Grow! Oh, the lagness. Ah. Ow. Ow. Okay. Grow, you misfortaken plants of disgrace. Ah. Oh, oh, guys, look, it's a cyan flower. Probably never ever gonna see that again in the micro pocket as soon as the first look. If you've never seen it. So it was only exclusive in pocket edition, but until 0 0.9. So yeah, now let's get to the video. It has been a long, long time, but finally we are back. What's up guys, this is Desi45 and I'm bringing you Minecraft Pogation back in time, the final episode. So yeah, I went back to my old intro. I probably might not go back to that, but I will. So I disabled a fancy rendering, and yeah, but first let me just go to the title. The title is, In Memory of Joe Pass Gaming. If you do not know who Joe Pass Gaming was, or is, he was, I think he was the first Minecraft Pocket Edition YouTuber, but I remember watching his videos. He was a really amazing Pocket Edition YouTuber. He didn't just do Pocket Edition. I remember he recorded Slenderman before, and that was pretty amazing. Just this... Joe Pass was a cool YouTuber. He sadly left the community, though, because of life issues. Or not issues, life situations. Meaning sports and all that stuff. And he, had, he didn't have time to upload. And there were, like, multiple reasons why he left. Number one, because of that... And number two, because of all the hate. Just too many people put hate onto him, and it made his life more stressful than he has it now. Because he has barely time to do anything, and all he has is too much sports and just activities on him. And I kind of wondered, at that age, I, I was at the age where I really didn't understand. But <laughs> I kind of wonder now, like, if he had so many activities, why didn't he just take out of... Cause, why don't you just get out of some of those activities to relieve his stress? Because guess what he was in, guys? He was like in... He was in basketball, he was in soccer, I think he was in football, and then he was in all this architecture and all this stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think he was in architecture. I don't know, but a lot of extracurricular activities, and he put a lot of stress on himself. But, the guy is sadly gone, but I think about it now, and I'm like, why didn't he just take away some of that stuff to relieve some stress? But the haters, you can't take away. The haters will always be there. There'll always be those people that just don't like you. I don't know why people do that, though, but just... Because it's the internet. They don't even know you in real life. So, I don't know. But yeah. So let's get to the video. This video is basically an in-memory of Joe Pass Gaming. And this will be a little memory video for him. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. While we went into the, we'll go into the view of Joe Pass Gaming. And while we do that, i like to give a little bye guys to you. Or a little bye to you guys in this series. And I hope to see you guys next in the next or i hope to see you guys in the next season when we hit 0 0.4 time travel to 0 0.4 so without further ado i introduce you the old school pogation youtuber the amazing king of pogation before jack frost minor it has been a long long time but finally we are back the most highly requested thing i have ever made is back the Herobrine experience part five we are repping this amazing seed with a giant crater that will be in the description below and let's get right into this i tweaked the mod a little bit so Herobrine will spawn more i know i promised the tornado mod on this episode but that unfortunately did not happen but this will be a good episode i assure you we're also going to make it a little bit more dangerous as i have tweaked his spawn rate and we're playing on hard and we are only going to have a sword, iron pickaxe, this, torches, flint and steel, and that. And then this is all stuff that we can always come back to if I spawn in an ender chest. And I'm just going to keep, yeah, let's keep one flint and steel in there. Actually, we'll take it all. Why not? Male dominant, you know. All right. And also, I forgot what I was going to say, but we are going to start. 
Oh yeah, we have armor. And the only thing that we really have enchanted is this. Just because we don't want him to go all fuss da on us again and kill us. So, let's start this. Can I even reach that? No, I cannot. That's embarrassing. Let's do this. I'm going to put some stuff. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The Harrowbrin Experience. Part 5 begins now. Oh, I missed. Now. Oh, my gosh. I know I don't know what I did. In fact, I do. I do know what I did. I did the doing. <laughs> All right, so we we actually don't have food on us either. That's probably going to be bad. We are going to have to kill some people. Kill some people. And hopefully this works on this world. I've tested, like, every world, and it seems to work, the mod. So that's all good. There's lots of sheep everywhere. My goodness. All right, so where to? Should we head to the jungles? No, we need to get some food. Chickens, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness, that's a good sword. What is on this? My goodness. That is powerful, man. All right, oop. Um, okay. All right, sketchy. Sheep, you're making me mad. Creeper, you're making me mad, too. My goodness, this is like a... Superpower Cadrilagiglistic Sword, whatever that means. Alright. Hmm. Where are you, Harrowbrin? Where are you? Come out and play, Harrowbrin. Come out and play. It seems like whenever I lo Oh my goodness! Oh, jeez, Louise, my goodness. What I was going to say is whenever I load a preloaded world, oh my gosh, wait, what, oh my gosh, oh, I, you do math, one plus one doesn't equal three, you noob, oh my, okay, well I take back everything I was about to say, what, I hear trains, uh, the choo-choo, go bye-bye, alright, what I was going to say is, uh, I'm like, oh, I might just quit this video because it's not working, but it's obviously working. Why is there two of you? Why? I don't speak Mexican. Oh, wait, that's a dirty word. Where'd my items go? Did he take my items? Do all I have is this male dom- Oh, my gosh. This is not cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well- Oh, my gosh! Oh, my- Oh, there's chills all over my body now. Oh, my goodness. There's demon chickens. There's demon chickens. Okay. Alright, I'm safe in the water. I still have my armor, somehow. But I think, um- Dang it, I'm not safe from you in the water. Um, I think... Did all my stuff... Oh my gosh, hang on. I need... Demon chickens, oh my gosh, why is there four? Oh my gosh, why is there a bunch of you? Okay, good thing I have that feather falling on. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. There is stuff going on. Cow, I need your meat, I need your meat. Give me cooked meat. Oh my gosh, there's like new things in this mod. I hear things. Give me your meat, cow. Give me your meat. Don't burn it, though. I need it. Alright, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Whoa, how'd I get my stuff back? Do you see that? That was like voodoo magic. It's a magical cow. Oh, hail the magical cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well, okay. I'm prepared now. That was just... That was wrong, man. Alright, and also... Leave a like below if you'd like to see more Herobrine experience, or maybe even a Herobrine survival. That would be kind of cool. Alright, anyways, whoa, that was very... Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, my goodness, there's a lot of you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Actually, it's not really a welcome back, considering this is the start of a new series I'd like to call Journey to... The Ender Dragon. It's been highly requested that I make a PC survival series, but keep in mind this will not be any ordinary buildy buildy long lasting survival series. This is strictly for building the game. Yeah, building the game. This is strictly for beating the game, so that means journeying to the end and defeating the Ender Dragon and possibly going for all the achievements, maybe. I decided to add some face cam because it's fancy like that. And we're actually gonna get right into it. I am running Minecraft 1.4.6. So let's get into it. Single player, no worlds have been created. This is all fresh start. So let's call it Journey. That was some dyslexic spelling. Journey to the Ender Dragon. Okay. Seems like my spelling is in order. Um, everything seems good. Cheats off. Bonus chest off. Generate structures on. I think we're ready. Let's create this new world. Here we go. 
Building that terrain like we've never built terrain before. Okay. And here we are. Welcome. We are stuck in some kind of magnificent force. Come on, what is going on? What is going on? Alright. Achievement gag, getting dirt. Alright, I'm gonna actually turn my sound down because it seems quite loud. And here we are. This is our world. This is our foundation. This is where we will survive for the next who knows how many parts. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some cacti. Uh, why not? This is actually the first time I've played 1.4.6, so that's kinda cool. Kind of cool. Let's get the sugar cane too. Why not? Add it to the selection. The collection selection. Uh, so we have a pretty decent seed, I guess. Not really, actually, at all. This is actually a pretty bad seed. But at least we have sugarcane and cacti and plant life. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll open a greenhouse. Because, yeah, ender dragon don't like greenhouse greenhouses. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's start by getting some wood. Just like every good man starts getting wood. Oak wood. Oh, it labels it. That's fancy. I haven't even... See, I, I haven't messed around with this yet, and I know um, that little labeling thing that you see right there, Pocket Edition started that, hashtag, yes, that's my boy, Pocket Edition, right there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, so here we go. This is the start of a good series, I think, in my opinion. So hopefully you all like it. Um, it's going to be very straight to the point. We're actually going to, I think we have enough sugar cane, so let's... um. Let's start browsing this world. Let's see if we can find anything suitable. What difficulty are we on, first of all? Normal? Uh, I think normal's a good difficulty. Do you think so? Or, no. Nope. Yeah, you guys asked for it. I could read your minds. You said hard. <laughs> you wanted it. Uh, so if I die, it's your fault. It's your fault. You watching this video, it's all your fault. And it is always your fault. Not really. It's going to be my fault. Um, I do have trouble surviving <laughs> um, on maps but since this is actually a generated world and it's a survival kind of base kind of deal I think I will be just fine I don't think I will have much trouble ooh I smell goodness what's down there um, is this is this interesting is this something worth exploring what is down here ooh this is sketchy what should I do down here um, oop, I smell zombies. Hello, zombies. How you doing, zombies? Alright, um, I feel like I should not be here. I feel like I should not be here. This is not the place for me. Skeletor, come on, help me out, man. Shoot them. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Fighting fire with fire. That is just how we do it. Goodbye. Nope. Come on. See, we're using strategy here. Ouch. That was not strategy there. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm, I'll, I'll come back here eventually. But it's not now. Now is not the time. Yeah, I hear, I hear the skeleton beating up on the zombies, poor guys. Alright, so we're gonna actually, we're gonna forget that ever happened. I thought that was gonna lead me to a ravine, and then we're gonna have a great start and get diamonds on the first episode. I thought that is what was going to happen, but sadly, it didn't. So let's, um, let's browse. Why not? Let's, uh, kill some pigs. The feather ancestors, the fellow ancestors and brethren of porkers. So goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't like how the pork chops don't have the outline anymore. Is that just me? I'm pretty sure that's not just me. I don't know. Don't like it. Not not too much of a fan of it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Alright, but we're gonna just get some more wood. Then we need to find a good place for shelter because, you know, that's the start of everything. Everything good in life. And so I hope you guys liked that. And if you did, or if you did know, if you did see Joe Pass's gaming videos or don't know him, or something like that. Oh, God. No, no, no. Well, I hope you guys like that. And if you ever did watch Joe Pass, or if you remember any of these videos that I've had, because there's not many videos of him out there anymore, because he deleted his channel and all that stuff. And he just disappeared from the community. But if you did actually ever watch Joe Pass, drop a like and comment down below. Uh, what do you remember of him, basically? The only thing I remember of him is him playing Slenderman, his voice, how really deep his voice was. I did give a face cam video of him that's pretty old. He looks he look, he looks totally different now. Or not now, He when his channel ended. But, yeah, but I did, I did as much as I can as possible. 
and I provided the links to the channels of the videos I got it from to give them some credit because I did not get this. So yeah, but we all really do miss Joe and we all wish he can come back, but we all know that's never going to happen because Joe, he left the community for good and he... He's gone. He 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 left like in 2012, and it's been two years already. And we just all wish him that he's having a good time in Pocket Edition right now. And we hope that he's actually watching some of us to know that we all do still care about him. He still has loving subscribers and people that miss him. So yeah, so we are gonna go back into 0 0.10. Or not really. I really don't know how I go back to 0 0.10, guys. It's just I don't know. I don't really remember how I went back to 0 0.3. Oh, oh my, oh, oh, oh. Oh man, I had a crazy dream. Oh God. Oh. Rez. Rez, I, I had a crazy dream. I I went back into 0 0.3 and I I played it. I, I played it. I seriously played it. Rez, I, I don't know what happened, but why didn't she ever wake me up? How long was I asleep? Just What? I was asleep? For a year? Oh, oh my god. Oh. That, that was, that was a really weird experience. I did it in memory of Joe Pass. I, I remember Joe Pass, but all those videos. Just, oh. Rez. Oh, just wake me up next time. Okay, guys. So, I want to I want to say to you guys, thank you for supporting me in this series, and I hope you guys like that little in memory of Joe Pass Gaming. And I, I forgot to say that at the end of every at the end of every MCB back in time, I am basically going to do an in memory of every pocket or of single of pocket industry YouTubers that have left the community, the community, and I or why not to end the series with the old school Joe Pass Gaming, so, yeah, guys. So, if you guys did like that, drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for the next season of MCP Back in Time coming in 0 0.11, and to check out my recent con content. Now, guys, time to get back to mod reviewing and texture pack reviewing. Yeah! <laughs> so, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's been Desic45, and peace, guys. <laughs>